Bush. I'm really not sure how to spend my time. Like this is what my life has come to. Okay. <laughs> Laying on my bed. Just relaxing, chilling. Out max and relaxing out cool. My lava lamp looks really cool. See that? I'm being so boring right now. Why? My mind just has to relax. Is that gonna happen though? Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> I feel like I'm about to have a breakup. <laughs> With myself at this point with you. It's like, I don't think I can do this anymore. <laughs> I don't think I can, like... <laughs> making content anymore. I never thought I'd say that. Out loud. But that's just how I feel out my stomach hurts. Oh jeez. Oh, not I don't have anything. What do I film right now? I don't really have much to film, honestly. Yeah. Well, okay. This is interesting. Is it? <laughs> no, not at all. I'm completely blank. That's how I feel. I feel completely blank in my mind. I feel very weak. Yeah, I feel very weak, I'm very mentally exhausted, just weak in my thoughts and my ideas of what to do. And like, this isn't very interesting. I'm probably just adding more stress to myself by doing this. So... I genuinely don't know what to do with my life. I just lay down on my bed and like waste my days away because I don't really know what else to do. I don't really have anything else to do besides lay on my bed. That's all I'm doing right now. I don't feel like doing much else, honestly. My attitude toward this right now is like that I suck, that I suck at this. And I know that's just being hard on myself, which is unnecessary. But that's what's like naturally coming to me is that I just suck at everything that I do. Do you ever feel like that? A lot of times I feel like there's no sense in me doing any of this. Because I'm not seeing a lot of like financial results or financial gain. And it's like, that's not even why I started this. It's obviously interesting, but this isn't, that's not why I started this. 
I started this just so I could talk openly and just express what was ever on my mind and then post it for the world to interact with and relate with. The last homemade chocolate chip cookie. I have to practice slowing my mind down and focusing better on what I would like to occur <coughs> in my life. Head scratches for the boy. Yeah. I'm about to make a whipped coffee. You know, I think this is as, like, as good as my life's ever going to get. I think that's necessary for people to accept and learn that, like, the present moment is, like, as good as your life's ever going to be. This moment right here, right now. Every moment. So, it's up to me to carry that mindset and perception around and be grateful and happy and excited about as much as I possibly can in life. And I think that's a lot of the reason why I even started opening up like this online and on YouTube and making videos in the first place was so that I could just allow myself to be excited and to just talk and to just like respect and share my life in a different light, in a different perspective overall. Because when you're sharing the videos like this and you watch the footage back, like you just get a different emotional connection and I think that's very nice and very useful for me to have. And it's time to just enjoy it a lot more. My mom's coming over for supper tonight. That'll be fun. It's time for me to simplify this in my life as much as possible. So simplify my life as much as possible. I'd like for other people to learn as well to like simplify their life as much as they can. But I'm not someone who's going to tell everyone what to do. I'm just sharing experiences, you know? Cheers to that night. It's no longer necessary for us to feel so low and so upset. And it's no longer necessary to feed into depression anymore. Like it's okay to let the mind relax basically. But a lot of times it can be easier said than done. And that's part of the part of the experience. Let's have some toilet talk. One of the a YouTuber I used to watch used to um do toilet talk, toilet talk with Lily. Do you know Lily Singe? Is it Sing? Lily Singe? I I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name. But anyways. Everything in life right now, it just seems so off. It seems so wrong. This is like the only sense of familiarity that I have is doing this. Well, I nearly just fell to the toilet. Wouldn't that be something? It's like I know that even when life is seeming off and when it's seeming stressful, like there's still like a sense of alignment, a sense of connection throughout it all even when things are seeming like they're falling apart. And sometimes when stuff does seem to fall apart, it's so that we can rebuild it with something brand new. And I guess that's how we grow as human beings. That can be part of the process. And why am I getting so philosophical right now? But I'm just on the toilet and I'm like having those thoughts, you know? Just sitting down on the toilet, enjoying life, sitting on the toilet. Sitting on the toilet. Am I enjoying it? A little bit, I guess. I get so awkward around my parents. That's what sent me into this spiral of thoughts, is being just so uncomfortable around my parents. I guess I don't have to anymore, but it's just, it doesn't, it hasn't been coming natural to me. 
maybe now it will since I'm actually talking about it and opening up about it I can make it come more natural um, or just allow it to be more natural but I just there's just such a part of me that gets awkward around my parents anyways I'm rambling perhaps you can relate maybe who knows that's all for today's video thank you for watching um, Take care of yourself. Take care of your mind and your brain. Stay active. Why am I? T I feel like I'm telling people what to do now. Anyways, I'm just uh, being kind and inspirational. That's all. Right? I guess that's very inspirational. It could be. Some people, I'm sure, find it inspirational.